Hey, how are all my beautiful little Chick-fil-A's? Chick-fil-A's in the USA on a beautiful Monday who never delay to crochet. So today I'm excited to bring you another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this office printer. Any person who sits in front of a computer and prints out documents is going to need one of these handy dandy things. So without hesitation, without procrastination, let's get into this video. And I need to stop rhyming, it's actually really annoying. So I do apologize, I kind of went through that intro really super fast. I want to glance over this printer really quick. Very industrial, very heavy duty looking. As you can see, its size is very big. I gave it this cool mechanism on the top. There's a flap that comes down and locks everything in place. On the sides, there are some of these panel pieces that kind of act as slots so that when the paper is being printed, it can simply rest on these slots here. On the siding, I used a basic technique. I used a snot brick technique to be most specific. It's super useful and no, I'm not talking about the little wet soggy boogers that come out of your nose. I'm talking about studs not on top. Okay, so to begin you're going to need a 4x4 plate as your main base. On top of that I'm going to place a 2x2 brick dead center in the middle. Doesn't matter what color you use. And on the sides surrounding it I'm just going to place a total of I believe about 10 snot bricks. And as you can see, I just placed it in this specific order right here. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Just make sure that the studs are facing towards the outside in every direction. It doesn't really matter whether there's two studs facing on one side and four on the other. Just get it the way you want it. That's the way you need it, any way you want it. On top of this assembly, we're going to place two 2x4 two bricks. And just like that. And to finish it off, we're going to need two more pieces, so I'm going to use a 4x4 plate once again. And finally, to settle the matter in the order of the quartz, we're going to place a 4x4 tile. And that's just going to go right on top, like, hey, put cheese on bread. So we're going to make these two assemblies right here, and these are going to create the sides of the printer. There's no need to take this apart, honestly, but I'm going to do it because you are my special Chick-fil-A's. This is a 4x4 plate, and on top, I'm just covering it with tiles. It's as simple as that. So you're going to need two of those, and you're going to place one on one side, and you're going to place one on the other. Wait, no, never mind. You're going to place two just like this towards a corner if that makes sense because on the third side we're going to do something a little bit creamy and a little bit spicy so basically what I'm going to do on another side I'm going to create that same assembly however I'm going to place two panel pieces in the very center so just like that it doesn't matter if you connect it on the side of your printer in this way or in this way. It has to be in a horizontal direction though. I wouldn't recommend that you place it like this. So just make sure that they're facing horizontally above the gravitational pull of the earth. And finally, last but not least, we're gonna finish this last side off. We're gonna make this assembly right here. And uh, I'm too lazy to take it apart. So why don't I just use my magic skills? Ah, oh, perfect. So some of the remarkable pieces that you're going to need in this pile is this hinge piece here. It's basically a 4x4 plate connected to a 1x4 plate. You're also going to need one of these panel pieces. I'd recommend the transparent color. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to get your hinge piece. You're going to put that down. You're going to get two 2x3 two plates. You're going to place them on the side with the 1x4 plate, so on the smaller side of the hinge. And you're basically going to create a 4x4 space, as you can see what I did there. To finish that off, we're just going to place two 2x4 two tiles. This is going to be the side of the printer. So to make the top, we're going to make it in a very similar way. We're just going to get a 1x4 plate, place it right there, to create once again another 4x4 base. And from there, we're going to place some more tiles. We have that assembly right there. I'm going to get my panel piece. On the bottom, I'm going to place my 1x4 plate. We can grab our... So we're going to get our main printer assembly back. We're going to grab our hinge assembly, and we're going to connect it to the side. And from there, I'm going to get my glass piece and just slide it right in. But it goes just like that. And it has a realistic feel. Like, I could literally sit on it and it would print my butt. Like, it looks really cool. So that was the tutorial. If there was something that didn't make sense, or if there's something I forgot to mention, just comment down below. If you like this content, be sure to click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and give me your personal feedback. I'm going to be hosting a giveaway for this new iPhone X. Absolutely gorgeous. Also, I just want to announce, if you don't subscribe, I will shoot you in the, uh, the nuts with a BB gun, 
And I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Once again, thanks for watching. Keep being awesome, Chick-fil-A's. The cool sleigh in the way in the filet. <laughs>